Greetings and uh, salutations of peace. I am your brother, the Rastafari. I told Iman I. You are now in tune on the one, the force itself. At this time, we call the Holy Master Blasher Janin. It has come that time that the world tried your love. I bring to you the message of the times. In those years of innocence, in as much as I can recall of myself, in retrospect, like little children playing under enchanted boughs, I heard the message in the music and I believed. One could say, a lonely man was I, a soul without direction. I wouldn't say so totally. I was blessed to have witnessed the last of old Jim Crow growing up in rural North Florida yet old enough to witness the 60s, the 70s, when all things was right on, real, and harmony, morals, and positive messages of black pride and love. Nothing can compare to those days when people were organic. No weed, sagging pants, positive vibrations, positive struggle. I heard reggae music in the early 80s. My life changed forever. All the other elements of my knowledge fused into one great synthesis called Rastafari. Why not a black king symbol of royalty? Like even though I had heard George Clinton, Maurice White, Frankie Beverly, Marvin Gaye, and Bob Marley. It was Stevie Wonder who brought all those messages together. I was a poet who heard the pure message before the advent of rap and hip hop, which is in reality discord without direction. I tell you, black music and art has always had direction. Listening to me attentively, you will hear something that makes sense. Even if, even if it's just one sentence, it is designed that you be enlightened. Like the pyramids, even today stand as testament of black splendor and might, a message of oneness among a great people through the music, that legacy lives. And many years ago, I made a vow that this legacy never dies. Even before the World Wide Web, I was a member of the vast band who sang redemption songs. When the Move family was bombed in 1985, I went to them with the intent to live and help with the struggle. The message of the Master of Blaster Jammin was with me then. In the year 1981, when Stevie Wonder rallied in D.C. to make the Martin Luther King birthday a national holiday, I took to the rally the message of the Master of Blaster Jammin then. What is this message? It is an invisible yet audible consensus of the major black musicians and poets. Now when I say major, what is meant? First I will call their names to help you understand. Foremost is Stevie Wonder, respectively Bob Marley, Marvin Gaye, Maurice White of Earth, Wind and Fire fame, George Clinton, Parliament Funkadelic, Frankie Beverly of Mays, these are the major ports and prophets. Why are they considered prophets? 
It is because there is an invisible thread of inspiration which binds them all through their music and song. We must understand the science of inspiration, then you would know why they are called prophets. And hidden within this Kabbalistic message is the redemption of the black man in the wilderness of North America. This message is directly from the Cirrus star system. In 1969, the year of Woodstock, I was 12 years of age. So I was influenced by the wave of the first music musical explosion, which was the harbinger of that which would come called Master Blaster Jamming. It was an example of what could be done when the time was correct. This is in essence what is known as activating the Ark of the Covenant. It is the Ark of the Covenant. Reggae music is a chariot a carrier of the ark i.e. the message of the gods represented by King Selassie here upon orb ship earth it is the agreement i.e. the covenant the gods made with us of the future that when the world became like the old stories of Sodom and Gomorrah if we would cry out in unity in music and song as designed they would remember the covenant and appear to redeem us from the calamities of the time blessed is the youngest spiritual movement upon the orbship earth the rastafari movement i am your brother i tall iman i this is no rhetoric this is the science of the gods in our time I'm a spiritual traveler. I come to let you know that music is the key to life. Uh, and you are now in tune on the one, the force itself. We call it the Holy Master Blaster Jamming. So, what is the problem in a world where it's okay for men to marry men. Notice, people said, 12, 21, 2012, I tall, the poles are not going to shift. You're going to still be here. Yes, we're still here. But the world as we know it, as we knew it, is not here. We, we have gone beyond, the six has gone beyond the nine. We, it's way worse than it was in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah. So the God said, fools, oh fools, when it become as it was in the days of old, all you have to do is get together, promote a concert. I mean, you can do We Are The World and some fake shit, but you can't come together and say, okay, we're sick and tired of what's happening. Everybody's complaining, the Illuminati this, the Illuminati that, and rah, 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 and ray, 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 and uh, uh, who's wearing this, and who's wearing that, and who's going down the red carpet with the ass out and all that. But you can't come together. You're afraid to come together. Everybody's wearing dresses. All the major players of the game are wearing dresses, and everybody's afraid to say uh, certain things. And as Marcus Garvey said, where are our men of great affairs? There are a lot of concert promoters out there. Then we're going to hear the same old rhetoric. Well, everybody is illiterate to the fact that we must do something. The thing about it, most people have lost their souls. Everybody has their own agenda. If you weren't called, if you wasn't chosen to hell with him, I'm not going to help him to go to heaven. I'm going to hell in a, in a hen basket. Uh, you know, why should I help him go to heaven? But as the Lord Jesus said, lift me up and you will be lifted up also. So yes, we have come to a crazy situation where there's nothing, no thing known anymore. Black pride, black power, 
Uh, all our great ancestors appear to have died in vain through the middle passage of Sojourner Truth and Nat Turner and all the great black people, Marcus Garvey, Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm X, and this man and that man have all, Bob Marley, have all died in vain. You know, we would rather talk about Nicki Minaj just took off her wig and oh, child, she looks good and all that kind of thing. We go, so oh, it was a cold winter. Everybody know it was a cold winter. It was cold as hell in the winter time. And we see that it just snowed a few days in April and it might snow again tomorrow. So we see everything is messed up. We see our children are going astray. But there's a black man in the wilderness crying out saying all we got to do is have a certain concert at a certain time with certain musicians directed a certain kind of way. All our troubles are over. But we sit down and listen at the news. NASA just sent a missile up to the moon. Looking to see if there's life on the moon. No, they didn't go to the moon. Everybody's caught up in the conspiracies. If NASA knows of the moon, if they know of outer space. And we have seen the pyramids. We see the face on the Sphinx. We see the face on Mars. We see the old McMaya faces. We know what the deal is. So I'm not really worried about what people say. True, I am suffering, and I have suffered for over 32 years. And I don't really think anybody gives a damn about me suffering, so I don't cry about it too much. I'm a very poor man. I'm a, a mystic, so I make things look good, but it's not really good for me. And anybody that's delivering a message like me, it has never been good. It's just our wisdom and our knowledge and our understanding keeps us alive. But I'm telling you people, you're in a bad way. It's really amazing how we can't do anything. And I say we because it's, it truly is a black thing. And I don't mind a white person I don't it don't bother me if a white person say well I'm not gonna help you do that, that that's that's for y'all I don't it don't bother me that don't bother me I'm just being real to myself the, the original message of reggae was black white people join in they sang they they skanked but it was black everybody know that that can't be refuted I don't care what you say it's worse than it used to be a lot of people have learnt our music they, they play it better than we do. That's good. That's our job to teach people. But it's our job also to take them higher. And I want you to know everybody that's out there sitting down waiting on me to fall. I didn't mean to go into this today, but I've been quiet for a long time <clears throat> on this issue. But everybody sitting out there waiting on me to fall, I want you to know if you would check the books, it has always been that God and one man has always been the majority. He sent Moses to Pharaoh. It was just Moses and he wanted his brother to go with him. But it was just Moses. Think about it. It has always been God and the gods, i.e. with correction. And one man has always been the majority. A lot of you sitting home in your nice homes, in, in your mansions, with your nice job. <clears throat> I don't have a job. I go through sprats in life where I come across money by the will of God I do a lot of traveling it's mystically I don't have any money don't have a job and I go a lot of places and you might see me here and you might see me there doing this but it's just the will of God and it's him alone who calls me to move in the ways that I move and I'm sure <clears throat> you'll see me somewhere else pretty soon I pray but I just want you to know that it has been hard for me for 32 years you know, it's all about the inward grace. A lot of people have got locks, but it don't matter. They can work in office buildings, anywhere. But the real roster man, his vibration will not allow it. People know who he is, so it is impossible for him to work. And then while he is doing the work of God, his own people is trying to tear him down. I'm not going to get into my too much into my personal life because I feel that that's really personal. And it's a burden that I have to bear. But I'm, I, I go, I'm going through things and have been going through things 
<clears throat> that you could never survive. So I just want you to know that many of you are full of shit. You say you 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 get on the internet and you say you're an enlightened being, you're part of the conscious conscious community. How many of you, when you woke up, <clears throat> lost your mind? Your mind start tumbling. Many people thought you were crazy. I know people think you're crazy, but how many people have really, really, and truly suffered? How many of you have really? How many of you really have have a message? How many of you really have something to say? It's it's mostly it's ego. I know it's ego. I have observed it's ego. And you women get up there, you know, you, men respond to what you say. You're not saying a damn thing. <clears throat> you know, you're showing your bodies and everything you say. You, you can say, ooh, and then you say, oh, I like that. <clears throat> then that builds your ego, but you're not saying a damn thing. And you brothers, how many of you are saying, <clears throat> all we have to do is have a concert? Who is not afraid to promote the biggest and grandest concert ever? with a message. The message is that we make this noise, make this sound. Everybody know that everything was created from sound vibration. You've been to school, you know. <coughs> so, all we got to do is come together and then we all read the Bible. Say, when two or three gather in my name, I'm there also in your midst. And we all know that. But why you want to do it? The devil don't want I told Ivan to become rich or have money. It's amazing. You don't want me to be rich. You don't want me to have money. Your miserable life, you know your life is miserable, miserable so you want my life to be miserable too. Well, it has been miserable for many years. But this is a sign of the mystic to endure one day, one second in my shoes and you will fall out for dead. <clears throat> anyway, let's get off that. We got we have got work to do. So one more time, I deliver the message of the Master Blaster Jamin. Peace.